It is the final Aga Hell event for me, and it only makes sense for me to have Anthony Blick, one of the legend promoters here in Tokyo, with me, who also helped me make things happen out here in Aga Hell. And he's with me today, Anthony Blick. Thank you, you for coming man? out. Thank you for coming out. Love you, bro. Love you. Bro. Legend. Love, love you, you too. Bro. Love you, bro. Man. So we got to talk a little bit about how we got here in the first place, I guess. Right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. well, what's the story? We used to do these events. Uh, so we, we, yeah, we used to do a lot of like uh, kind of I would call them like low scale events around Tokyo, uh, like different different clubs, including you know we we had our own concepts. And we had our own, you know, our own events, and they were probably banned. They would probably met, arrange around 200, 300 people would show up, have a good time. Right. But as I got into being like a promoter, I thought, like, you know, what, what's the ultimate goal? The ultimate goal is Agaha, right? Right, absolutely. And so I was always thinking, like, how do we get into Agaha? How do we get into Agaha? And I was always looking for ways to, like, figure out a way to get into Agaha. Right. As you know, uh, you know, I worked some connections and I got uh, one of the producers from Agaha to come out right. to one of our parties. Yeah. And he looked around and he goes, hey, these guys kind of seem like they know what they're doing. We'll give them a shot on water. Was it yeah. water? The uh, first time? I, or tent? I think it was tent. <laughs> it was tent. It was the tent. Yeah. yeah, on the tent. And of yeah. course, we killed it, right? Yes. We brought out. We, we still had look a, at the photos now. We had a we had a great party. We had right. lots of customers come out. We had lots of people come out. They and had us. Know, they had us in the tent for a few events, actually. Well, that's fine. Yeah. It was like it was kind of like I know it was like you know I know it was kind of a you know uh, what do you call it? like kind of a trial period, right? Right, right, right. And um, for me, like from, kind of from a business perspective, because you're coming from an uh, artist perspective, I was like, oh, this is. This is it, you know. Right. Ageha is the pinnacle. Right, right, right. In Japan, and it is. It yes. Is. Like yes. you got to be the top of the top. Absolutely. To be in Ageha. Mm -hmm. And then you know, then even within Ageha, you've got your different floors and things like that. And the ultimate is to be an arena. Right. 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 And that was always the dream. To that be was an arena. the dream. That and was the dream. we realized that. How could you not have a good time? And for a lot of DJs in the crew playing in the arena at Ageha was. A dream, you know, the biggest floor they've ever DJed for. The sound was amazing. Sure, how top, could it not be? Top tier DJ equipment, you know, versus other nightclubs that we've been playing at. The DJ here was pretty bad. I mean, we're talking uh, about thousands of watts of, of, yeah. of, of power going and, out there, right? You know, I took photos and videos of that night, especially when we did the arena, and I still look back at it now and go, wow, what a incredible night and it just brings back all these memories of like well the box floor the pool floor remember the, the you know we did the countdown what was it halloween or we did halloween out there. halloween was still yeah. one of the best halloween incredible in Japan, back in the day yeah. back in the day it was incredible i don't yeah, yeah. it's kind of lost it's kind of lost a bit of steam it's kind of jive shark now like six or seven years ago it was incredible uh, Amazing, yes so I mean, those are the roots of our connections to Ageha, and and unfortunately, it's ending. You know, this is the last countdown, and it's, it's ending really next sad. Month, so. It's very sad. But but the thing was like after we got that, you know, we got that first night as a crew, and I think we we're all together. We got that first Friday at the, at the to do the arena. Mm -hmm. I was like, that was kind of a, that was a big milestone. I, think. I remember that night, a lot of people were like, wow, you guys did the arena. You know, it was like a big deal. You know? Yeah, people oh, were like, how did that happen? How did that happen? Because <laughs> we're all, we're all non, almost we're not Japanese. Not Japanese. Yeah, right? I know. Like, so who we were, let these foreigners We were kind of the, the main I mean, road. you know, I, I could say for a while, like we're the biggest non-Japanese um, promoters Organizers, especially at that time, yeah, for sure. So in, in those days, and then like that, we got like, oh, now we're doing arena. Yeah, it's like, yeah. whoa, wait a second, nobody does arena. No, oh, shit. 
I mean, they're really closed off about the arena. You can maybe do a side floor, but the arena was always kind of the. It's kind of sacred. <laughs> it was a bit sacred. They and don't then want we got in there. <laughs> foreigners now, in there. But you know, the thing is, like now, it's like it's just an effort. Like you do arena now, it's just like it's just what you do, right? Right, right, right. I mean, it's just a thing. You know, it's a thing you do. So it's like. Uh, but the game back in back then was very much you know. But I think it was I think it was groundbreaking. It was it was absolutely. At the time. Mikey, what do you think are the what do you think is the legacy of the events that we did at uh, Agaha back in the day? Well, I mean, with your work kind of paving the way with some of these events in the arena and the box and the, and the Halloween events, it pretty much paved the way for you know some of my productions with Lumberjack. And working with you, and also turned on the, the heaven themed events. We did a bunch, but eventually, you know, you were telling me that I need to figure out my my deals. Like, am I a promoter? You had to make a decision, right? I had to make a decision. Like, am I a promoter making events, like these big scale events, or am I an artist uh, slash DJ making sure. music and DJing? And this was always a difficult thing I was balancing. Even in my social media profile, I was like, am I promoting all these events? And then I'm, oh yeah, I'm making music too. Like, people don't really understand both of these concepts. I kind of need to choose one. Yeah. And you asked me, what, 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 I do I, I, yeah, what, like, what do I like the most? And for me, I mean, I love making events, but at the end of the day, it really was the artist side of things making music, playing the music, seeing the reaction, that was really where it was at for me. And I think based on a lot of your guidance and a lot of my experience making these events, I just, you know, I just shifted towards music heavily in the last maybe four or five years and really put that direction in. I think people noticed that I kind of pulled back from the events a bit. I still did them a little bit, but I, you know, and even you as well, we just kind of pulled back a little bit and I just yeah. focused on the artist side of things. And, you know, but those are the roots of Ageha, really. And, and then here you are. <laughs> here we are at closing. the end of December uh, of 2021, moving right. on to 2022. Right. And you'll be on stage in about two hours now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that will be epic. That will be epic. And that will be your final stamp on, I guess, maybe this... I don't know. It's I'm legacy. Really, I don't really know. It's sad to say this that that Ageha is kind of done. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean it's crazy. I mean, it's yeah. not. Yeah, it's it's done, and mm-hmm. like this is, this is the last New Year's Eve mm-hmm. ever. Yeah, <laughs> and then I I think they're going to be a few more events, and then I think they're going to close in right. February. Uh, January, end of January. Sorry, end of January. So yeah. like shit, that's coming down really close. So so like it's really bittersweet. Mm-hmm. It's really good to be here tonight. Yeah. So I mean, it's also bittersweet tonight that like I feel like, as I told a few people when I came over here, I was like, I feel like I'm saying goodbye to an old friend. Right. 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 And yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that. I feel that. Especially walking up today, I I haven't even been to Agiha in a year. I'm just playing everywhere, and with COVID, Agiha events have been thin. Oh no! As you said, walking up, I walked. I mean, I walked that 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 trek from you know the station to to Agaha right. so many times, and tonight I think I took it like extra, extra slow. slow. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's cold, did it's, you? Do, oh, no, it's cold as shit. It's so cold. It's cold as hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I was walk. I was like soaking it up. I was like, yeah. this is probably this might be the last time Absolutely. ever. Absolutely. Yeah. And, no. and I fucking love this place. Yeah. yeah. On so many levels. I agree. But, um, I agree. Here we are. Here we are. Final time in this room as well. So we had to film it. it had could, to talk yeah, about it. Could be our last time in this room and all this kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk about the legacy. Thank you, Anthony, for joining me for this chat. My Going pleasure. back in history a little bit. Some memories that everybody should really know about, right? Not Enjoy. that far. Not that, <laughs> far. <laughs> Not that far. But it's all good, man. Yes, absolutely. Um, all yeah. right. Well, let's go. Main floor. Here we go. Let's go.